Welcome to Passion Travel. Join us as we explore fascinating destinations, uncover hidden gems, and embark on unforgettable journeys. Subscribe now and ignite your passion for travel. Morcilla de Burgos Blood Sausage with Rice Ingredients for Morcilla de Burgos 1 pound pork blood 1 pound pork fat or suet, finely chopped 1 half pound rice, cooked 1 large onion, finely chopped 4 cloves garlic, minced 1 teaspoon salt 1 teaspoon black pepper 1 teaspoon sweet paprika 1 teaspoon ground cumin Natural sausage casings Preparation Cook the rice Cook the rice according to the package instructions until tender. Let it cool to room temperature. Prepare the filling. In a large bowl, combine the pork blood, chopped pork fat, cooked rice, finely chopped onion, minced garlic, salt, black pepper, sweet paprika, and ground cumin. Mix well, to ensure all ingredients are evenly distributed. Stuff the casings. Rinse the natural sausage casings thoroughly under cold water. If they are salted, soak them in water for a few hours to remove the excess salt. Using a sausage stuffer or a funnel, carefully stuff the casings with the blood and rice mixture. Be careful not to overfill, as the sausages need some room to expand during cooking. Twist the casings at regular intervals to form individual sausages, tying the ends securely. Cook the sausages. Bring a large pot of water to a gentle simmer, not boiling, as this can cause the sausages to burst. Carefully place the sausages into the simmering water and cook for about 30 to 40 minutes, or until the sausages are firm and cooked through. Use a slotted spoon to remove them from the water and let them cool. Cool and store. Once the sausages have cooled, they can be stored in the refrigerator for a few days or frozen for longer storage. Serving. To serve, the morcilla can be sliced and grilled, fried, or added to stews and casseroles. It's often enjoyed with bread and a side of piquillo peppers or other vegetables. Pinchos, small skewers of meat or seafood. Ingredients for pinchos. One pound pork, lamb or chicken, cut into bite-sized cubes. Three tablespoons olive oil. Two tablespoons lemon juice. 3 garlic cloves, minced. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon ground coriander. 1 teaspoon smoked paprika. 1 half teaspoon ground turmeric. 1 half teaspoon ground black pepper. 1 half teaspoon ground cinnamon. 1 quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper, optional, for heat. Salt to taste. Wooden or metal skewers, if using wooden skewers, soak them in water for 30 minutes to prevent burning. Preparation Prepare the marinade. In a large bowl, combine the olive oil, lemon juice, minced garlic, ground cumin, ground coriander, smoked paprika, ground turmeric, ground black pepper, ground cinnamon, cayenne pepper, if using, and salt. Mix well, to create a marinade. Marinate the meat. Add the cubed meat to the marinade, ensuring all pieces are well coated. Cover the bowl and refrigerate for at least two hours, preferably overnight, to allow the flavors to fully penetrate the meat. Assemble the skewers. Thread the marinated meat onto the skewers, leaving a little space between each piece to ensure even cooking. Grill the skewers. Preheat a grill or grill pan to medium-high heat. Grill the skewers for about 8 to 10 minutes, turning occasionally, until the meat is cooked through and has a nice char on the outside. Serve. Serve the pinchos hot, garnished with lemon wedges and accompanied by crusty bread, a salad, or other tapas. Calamari's Fritos, Fried Squid Rings. Ingredients for Calamari's Fritos. 1 pound fresh squid, calamari, cleaned and cut into rings. 1 cup all-purpose flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 half teaspoon black pepper. 1 half teaspoon paprika. Vegetable oil for frying. Lemon wedges, for serving. Fresh parsley, chopped, optional, for garnish. Preparation. Prepare the squid. Clean the squid thoroughly, removing the head, innards, and quill. 
Peel off the skin if desired, and cut the bodies into rings. Rinse well and pat dry with paper towels to remove excess moisture. Season the flour. In a shallow bowl, combine the flour, salt, black pepper, and paprika. Mix well to ensure the seasonings are evenly distributed. Coat the squid. Dredge the squid rings in the seasoned flour, shaking off any excess flour. Heat the oil. In a deep skillet or fryer, heat the vegetable oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Make sure there is enough oil to fully submerge the squid rings. Fry the squid. Carefully place the coated squid rings into the hot oil, frying in batches to avoid overcrowding the pan. Fry until golden brown and crispy, about 2 to 3 minutes per batch. Use a slotted spoon to remove the fried squid from the oil and drain on paper towels. Serve. Serve the calamari's fritos immediately, hot and crispy, with lemon wedges on the side for squeezing over the top. Garnish with chopped fresh parsley if desired. Tigres stuffed mussels. Tigres, also known as Megalones Rellenos stuffed mussels, are a popular Spanish tapa originating from the coastal regions of Spain, particularly Galicia and the Basque country. This dish consists of mussels that are stuffed, breaded, and fried, resulting in a delicious seafood treat. Ingredients for Tigres Fresh mussels Onion, finely chopped Garlic, minced Olive oil Flour Milk White wine Salt Black pepper. Paprika, optional. Breadcrumbs. Eggs, beaten. Lemon wedges, for serving. Preparation. Clean and cook the mussels. Scrub the mussels under cold running water and remove any beards. Discard any mussels that are open and do not close when tapped. In a large pot, bring a small amount of water to a boil. Add the mussels and cover the pot. Cook until the mussels open, about 5 minutes. Remove the mussels from the pot and let them cool. Discard any mussels that remain closed. Remove mussels from shells. Carefully remove the mussel meat from the shells and set aside. Save half of the shells for later use. Chop the mussel meat into small pieces. Prepare the filling. In a skillet, heat olive oil over medium heat. Add the finely chopped onion and cook until soft and translucent, about 5 minutes. Add the minced garlic and cook for another minute. Stir in the chopped mussel meat and cook for a few minutes. Add a splash of white wine and cook until it evaporates. Sprinkle the mixture with flour and stir to combine. Gradually add the milk, stirring constantly, to create a thick bechamel sauce. Season with salt, black pepper, and paprika, if using. Cook until the mixture is thick and creamy. Remove from heat and let it cool slightly. Stuff the mussels. Take the reserved mussel shells and fill each one with a spoonful of the mussel mixture, smoothing it over the top. Bread the stuffed mussels. Dip each stuffed mussel in beaten egg and then coat with breadcrumbs. Ensure the mussels are evenly coated. Fry the stuffed mussels. In a deep fryer or a large skillet, Heat enough oil to cover the mussels. Fry the breaded mussels in batches until golden brown and crispy, about 2 to 3 minutes per side. Remove from the oil and drain on paper towels. Serve. Serve the tea grace hot, with lemon wedges on the side for squeezing over the top. Ensaladilla russa Russian salad with potatoes, peas, and mayonnaise. Ingredients for Ensaladilla russa. Three large potatoes, peeled and diced. 2 large carrots, peeled and diced. 1 cup frozen peas. 3 large eggs. 1 cup canned tuna, drained and flaked. 1 cup mayonnaise. 2 tablespoons olive oil. 1 tablespoon white wine vinegar. Salt and black pepper to taste. Pitted green olives, sliced, optional, for garnish. Roasted red peppers, sliced, optional, for garnish. Fresh parsley, chopped, optional, for garnish. Preparation Cook the vegetables. In a large pot, bring water to a boil. 
Add the diced potatoes and carrots, and cook until tender, but not mushy, about 10 to 12 minutes. Add the frozen peas in the last 2 minutes of cooking. Drain the vegetables and let them cool. Cook the eggs. In a separate pot, place the eggs in cold water. Bring to a boil and cook for 10 minutes. Remove the eggs, cool them under cold running water, and peel. Chop the eggs into small pieces. Mix the salad. In a large mixing bowl, combine the cooked potatoes, carrots, peas, chopped eggs, and canned tuna. Gently mix to combine. Prepare the dressing. In a small bowl, whisk together the mayonnaise, olive oil, white wine vinegar, salt, and black pepper until smooth. Combine and chill. Pour the dressing over the vegetable and tuna mixture. Gently stir to coat all the ingredients evenly with the dressing. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least one hour to allow the flavors to meld. Garnish and serve. Before serving, garnish the insula de la russa with sliced green olives, roasted red peppers, and chopped fresh parsley if desired. Pulgas Small Sandwiches Ingredients for Pulgas Small sandwich rolls or mini baguettes Assorted fillings such as Jamon Serrano, Spanish cured ham Chorizo, Spanish sausage Manchego cheese, sliced Tuna salad Roasted red peppers Tortilla de patatas, Spanish omelet, sliced Anchovies Fresh tomatoes, sliced. Olive oil. Salt and black pepper to taste. Preparation. Prepare the bread. Slice the small rolls or mini baguettes in half lengthwise. Lightly toast them if desired to add some crispiness. Choose your fillings. Decide on the combination of fillings you want for your pulgas. Traditional options include jamon serrano with tomato, chorizo with manchego cheese, tuna salad with roasted red peppers, or tortilla de patatas with anchovies. Assemble the sandwiches. If using fresh tomatoes, rub the cut sides of the tomato on the bread to infuse it with tomato flavor. Drizzle a little olive oil over the bread and season with salt and black pepper. Layer your chosen fillings on the bottom half of the bread. For example, place slices of jamon serrano and manchego cheese followed by a couple of roasted red pepper strips. If using tuna salad, spread it evenly over the bottom half of the bread and top with roasted red peppers. If making tortilla de patatas pulgas, place a slice of tortilla on the bread and top with a couple of anchovies. Finish the sandwiches. Place the top half of the bread over the fillings. Press down gently to hold everything together. Serve. Serve the pulgas immediately, or wrap them in parchment paper for a picnic or packed lunch.